Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about inline functions in C++. So let's first see the 5 key things about inline functions. Basically uh, as we know when you define a function with inline keyword uh, you request compiler to replace the calls uh, to that function with actual code from the function body and depending on the code size and variables and there are some many uh, other factors depending on those compiler decides whether uh, to actually treat the function as inline or not. Uh, the other important thing is uh, if you provide a function definition within a class definition then also that function is treated as inline even if you don't use the inline keyword. Uh, Microsoft's Visual C++ compiler uh, has a keyword force inline uh, which kind of forces compiler to make the function inline but still there are some exceptions uh, in which cases uh, you know uh, vc plus compiler also uh, doesn't honor the force inline keyword and the um, function is not made inline uh, if the function body is uh, making some recursive calls and, and there are many other exceptional cases when force inline is not honored by vc plus plus compiler uh, yeah inline functions functions are definitely efficient because they save the cost of calling the function but if you use inline functions too often or if you are using them with large functions uh, program may get slower so you have to you know make them make use them judiciously uh, inline functions are definitely better than macros uh, so you should choose inline functions or macros now let's see uh, some difference between uh, inline functions and macros so macros are preprocessor directory directives whereas inline functions are made inline by the compiler so inline functions have type checking because they are just normal functions like any other C++ function with an inline keyword and macros don't have any kind of type checking it's just replaces code uh, yeah in macros you can do some type checking using type devs uh, then macros are always replaced with the body whereas compiler decides whether to replace the inline function call with function body or not uh, with macros compiler or preprocessor doesn't have any choice uh, then ex expressions passed as arguments to inline functions are uh, always evaluated only once whereas in macros could be a little tricky and you have to be uh, a bit more careful with macros because uh, sometimes expressions passed uh, to macros they can be evaluated more than once like pre increment post increment operators so you have to be careful with uh, macros in those cases uh, you can and the main difference is you can debug inline functions but not the macros so always prefer inline functions or macros now let's see small example of uh, inline function so here you can see uh, you have declared a function which returns max of two numbers and you have made it inline so uh, the calls to this function would be replaced with this uh, function body uh, similarly if you have a call class called as comparator and it ha if it has a function called max and if you define the body within the class definition here itself then this function is also made inline by the compiler uh, even if you don't use inline keyword so these are the necessary things to know about inline functions these are the differences with macros and these are the five key things about uh, inline functions so thanks for watching and hope this helps